So in this video I'm going to do a restoration of this West German uh, Pickmatic that I got off eBay. So I know this video isn't for everybody, but, but if you're interested, enjoy. I did apply a little bit of light, very light oil to this, just to prevent from rusting immediately. So I don't claim to be an expert on sharpening uh, tools, so I'm sure I'm going to be doing something wrong, and I'm sure somebody's going to point it out, so feel free to do that. But I think first what we'll do is we'll hit this with a, uh, a file to get these really high spots. There's a couple of nicks. So you still have a little chip right here. Um, not too concerned with that. Because you'd have basically have to remove a lot of material here to get to that. So it's in the middle, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to try using this. Found this on Amazon Lansky Sharpeners. It's a USA made sharpening stone. It says all garden tools on there so we'll give it a try see how it works so we'll just use a little bit of honing oil on this stone see if I remember how to do it Alright, well I think that's uh, I think that's good enough. It doesn't need to be like razor sharp like an axe. If it is really sharp then you got a better chance of chipping the edge here, so that should be good enough for now. I'm just gonna put a little bit of ballast on here. Okay, so for now for the handle, I found this handle off Amazon. I guess the company is called Seymour Midwest LLC. But it's a, uh, a made in USA hickory, solid hickory handle. And the way this works, you don't need any fasteners or anything for this type of tool. You just basically slip on the, the handle and it's tapered. And you just give it a couple of taps. And that's basically it. You're ready to go. This is not like an overhead type pick tool. You're only supposed to go about waist high. And that's how you can get away with not having any fasteners on this. So here's a stump from a tree that fell probably about five years ago. I know it takes me a while to get around to some things sometimes. I'm obviously playing this back at a 10x speed. I don't think I can move that fast. But yeah, it's basically just I like to use this type of tool to remove old stumps. So just let them rot until I can basically just hit them with a pick and uh, pull them out. I just basically like to get it level. Level enough so that I could uh, just mow over it and then let nature take over. Yeah, I typically wouldn't even use any kind of grass seed or anything. As you can see how dark the soil is there. It'll be pretty much grown out by next year. I think this tree actually fell down during uh, Hurricane Sandy, which would be about five years ago, I believe. So it's taken me that long to get around to it. So here's a more traditional use for a tool like this, which is basically, you know, digging ditches or crevices and whatnot. And the reason I'm hitting this so light, I'm not putting a lot of force into it, because this is actually um, a pit where they used to bury trash. So I'm just making sure I don't hit anything, break any bottles if I do hit one. And yeah, believe it or not, they actually buried things this shallow, you know, sometimes less than six, eight inches down. So right here, it looks like all I found this time was just a couple of broken pieces of glass. But it's going to wrap it up for this one, and I'll catch you guys next time.